I love sci-fi when it comes to movies, series and books, so I really wanted to create something that combined sci-fi with generative AI. So what I set out to do was to create a fine-tuned sci-fi prompt generator with GPT-3 for AI image generators like Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion and then compare it to the results we can get with ChatGPT. So what were the results? Let's find out. First, let's just start by looking at what exactly is fine-tuning a model. So fine-tuning is like giving GPT-3 a new set of instructions for a specific task. For example, let's say you wanted GPT-3 to write some movie scripts. Then you would give it a bunch of movie scripts to read and learn from. And then it would start to write these scripts that are similar to the ones it learned from. And you can also think of it like this. Let's say you wanted to learn a new language. You start like with the basics, understanding of the language, but you need to practice and learn more specific words and phrases to become fluent, right? And that is what fine tuning does for GPT-3. It helps it become more fluent in a specific task. So our starting point here is a few shot prompt that we will use to create our data sets for the fine tuning. So let's take a deeper dive where you can see imagine and create a sci-fi mid journey prompt from the following research in brackets. And in the research here, we just have a small story about the singularity in the style of George Orwell that I just created in chat GPT. Then we have styles equals we have vector art. I just gave it a lot of examples of styles that fits well with sci-fi themes right and we have something called inspiration that's equal like Blade Runner style the Matrix style these are basically sci-fi series and movies I like and we have some sci-fi artists here HR Geiger, Sid Mead, Chris Foss yeah, you get the point. And we have my preferred aspect ratio that is 3 by 2. And then we just go ahead, imagine and create a sci-fi mid-journey prompt. And from the story we get the singularity, we get intelligent machines in the style of Sid Mead, Star Trek style, cyberpunk, AR32. That is basically the few shot prompt we have. And you can see we repeat this, I think it's three times. Then we end up with just this. So when we press here now, hopefully this will give us like a very similar prompt to what we already created. So you can see we got leaving Earth, exploring unknown galaxies, Star Wars style, pixel art in the style of Chris Foss, right? So this leaving Earth part is from the research here will humanity ever escape the bounds of our planets right so this seems to work fine and i think this is what we're going to go with to create our data set since we need a lot of examples for our fine tuning i don't want to do that manually that's just going to take forever so we created this python script that has our prompt here right the one we just take a look at and we have created these 10 stories that if we just pick random from and create prompts from that uh, so this is going to run 250 times so so that means we will get 250 examples that we can use for our fine tuning. So let's just go and run this script. So let's just head over to the terminal, fire up the timer and let's just run the script and let's see how long this takes. Okay, so that was the script finished. We took about 10 minutes to complete this. And as you can see down here, we have 250 examples. And that means we have, let's take a look here. We have 250 completions that looks more like this. So this is like the end result, right? And we have 250 prompts that looks more like this. So now we are ready to convert those into JSON and ship them over to OpenAI for fine tuning. So to convert this over to JSON, I have this very simple script here. This should not take long. Let's see it. Press it now and boom, then it's finished. Let's take a look at this file. Yes, we have it here. You can see we have the prompt here, right? And that is all of this all the way down to here. And we have this completion and this is our prompt for mid journey right and this is in json form and as you can see here we have number one here and let's go all the way down 250 json so that is perfect okay the final step now is just to send our json file over to openai so let's just run another script here this also should not take too long and that was it now it's just 
to wait for OpenAI to process our fine-tuned model. So yeah. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours and our model is now fine-tuned. So what you want to do now is just over to the playground. You can just go down here and just pick the model you created. So you can see this was yesterday. So just pick that one and let's give it a spin. So what I want to do now is take a prompt I did from last night and just try to change this input around here. The whole pros for this model is of course we don't need that much input right so the prompt is gonna be much smaller. I'm just gonna give it one example just that's what I usually do and let's try to do imagine and create a sci-fi mid-journey prompt about AI. Okay so I guess it's working but we gotta dive deeper into this to see how this works so we got AI dangers of AI the singularity cybernetics AI gone rogue so this is not exactly what I was looking for but uh, let's explore some more okay so let's go mid journey prompt about the singularity Star Trek and AI versus humans okay the singularity Star Trek AI versus humans we got futuristic style in the style of Chris Foss. Okay, I guess that's something. Let's try mid journey prompt about Matrix versus Darth Vader. The Matrix versus Darth Vader, cyberpunk style in the style of Matrix. Okay, I guess it's something. Let's copy that. Let's try a mid journey prompt about the future of humans and compute power. The future of humans, AI cyberpunk style in the style of Blade Runner. Okay, let's copy that. Okay, so now we have three examples from our fine-tuned model. Let's head over to ChatGPT and get three examples from there. So over at ChatGPT, we're just gonna feed our prompt here. Uh, I guess you remember this one. This is the one we use for fine-tuning. Let's just hit play and see what we get back here. Okay, that looks quite good actually. Let's just try to get rid of this part. So let's just go great, just stop the prompt after AR32. Yes, perfect. Now let's try to feed some of our examples. Next up we have Imagine and Create a Sci-Fi Mid-Journey prompt about the Matrix versus Darth Vader in the same format as the prompt above. Okay, that looks good, but again it just added this part, I don't know why, but let's just copy this thing and Take it over to our examples. The final example we have is create a mid-journey prompt about the future of humans and compute power in the same format as the prompts above. Yeah, we have the same issue here, but let's just take this and go over to our examples. Yes, so now we have three examples from our fine-tune model. We have three examples for ChatGPT. So now let's head over to Mid Journey and feed in these prompts and see what results we get. Okay, so before we move on to the comparisons of the images, uh, we gotta talk about the big elephant in the room and that is pricing. Like for now we know ChatGPT is free, but we can also compare it just to using DaVinci 3. So just look at this, yesterday I spent $55 on fine tuning that model. That just seems crazy when you can almost do it for free. We did use 1.5 million tokens in our training and yeah that is quite crazy. Just off the get go I feel like that's not worth it at all. But I guess if you really need a fine tuned model it can be worth it but $55 for that was just 250 examples and 1.5 million tokens. If that was it okay but there's also something else like if we just gonna use DaVinci we're gonna pay 002 per thousand tokens right and that's very cheap you can do a lot with that right so that's thousand tokens is about 750 words so that's quite cheap but if we go down here and check out fine-tuned models we paid 003 dollars for training for thousand tokens but the problem here is usage it's so expensive to use right we pay zero we pay 12 cents for thousand tokens so if you compare that to 002 cents that's just it's crazy so i guess for me already before even looking at the results uh 
my conclusion is that this is just too expensive, at least for my usage. Of course, there are some use cases where you really are dependent on fine tuning. And of course, I could have probably done a better job with my data set. But uh, for me now, this is, I've been really hesitant about recommending fine tuning because you don't know the results and it can be really expensive. So yeah. But anyway, let's take a look at the comparisons from Mid Journey. Okay, so let's take a look at our first comparison here. We got ChatGPT on the left and we have the fine tune model on the right. So you can see the prompts here above the pictures and yeah. I guess they turn out quite similar, but uh, if I had to pick one of these, there's really quite easy for me. I really prefer ChatGPT's version here, but of course this is going to depend on the on the prompts, right? But if I had to pick here, I would go for ChatGPT. Next up, we have the Matrix versus Darth Vader prompt. And this was quite cool. I like really like both of them. So I'm probably going to make some more images of this. But again, we have ChatGPT on the left, of course. And hmm, which one do I like most here? Uh, since this is really highly influenced by the pixel art style, right? So uh, do I like pixel art? Yes, I do. And I think this turned out pretty good. I kind of fell for the one, especially the one on the right here for the, from the fine tune model. I think that was just really cool where they split the image here. Yeah, I gotta give this to the fine tune model, but like I said, it's really dependent on that pixel art style. Okay, so the last comparison we have was the future of humans and compute power prompt. Here we can see we got quite the different results. So to be honest, I don't even like the ones from the fine tune model here. I just find them quite a bit boring. But I guess someone pre uh, prefers these kind of images. But again, on the left we have this. It's a bit strange, but that speaks more to me. So if I had to pick here, I would definitely go for the one on the from ChatGPT. Uh, because it had this biomechanical art. And I think it's very high, highly influenced by the style of Chris Foss, right? But that speaks more to me. And I find this very bland. It's very highly influenced by the cyberpunk style. And of course, cyberpunk goes very in hand with the Blade Runner. So uh, they're not too bad, but I really would prefer this one here. So yeah, I think that's it. So overall, I kind of prefer the ones from ChatGPT. Uh, and I'm not surprised because I guess my fine tune model didn't turn up that well. So if I'm just going to give a quick conclusion here. So this is just going to be highly influenced by the pricing. For me, this is just a no brainer for my use cases. I have no use cases for fine tuning at this moment. I'm going to always take ChatGPT, but I just wanted to pro uh, show off how expensive it is to fine tune a model. And this was only with 250 examples. So just be careful. Don't go crazy on the fine tuning because you might not always get the results you want and it can be very expensive. But for me, this was a quite a fun experiment and it's been a while since I used fine tuning. This might change in the future, of course. The pricing might change and it might be easier to get exactly what kind of fine tuning you want. That's gonna be exciting. Yeah, so I think that's it for this experiment. So hopefully this video inspired you to want to dive deeper into generative AI. And if that is the case, check out the link in the description below to my YouTube membership where I have members only videos. Also check out this video if you like this one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.